What's up everybody? What's going on? Thought I'd do a, uh, a new video here. A uh, purpose built AR. So this is a gun I want to use here. It's an AR-10 by Delton. And we got your, uh, I replaced the buttstock here. This is a Magpul. I liked it better than the one that came on it. It's got a little curve right here. Full Picatinny rail on top and M lock on the side and the bottom. This one has an 18 inch barrel and it has a uh, full length gas tube, the uh, rifle length gas tube, not a uh, carbine. I'll show you the difference here in a second. Yeah, let's take a look at this thing. Ooh, this gun's a little bit heavier than the other one. And uh, put an 18 inch barrel full handguard here. It's got the A2 muzzle brake on here. All right, <clears throat> my plan for this gun, I'll show you here in a second. I want to compare this one to my other AR-10, which is right here. This one's got a 16 inch barrel on here and it's got a uh, gas block right here. And you can see where that one is. If I can get this camera right. And if you put this gun next to it, well, right here, you can see, ah, let me just do this right here. All right. So this one's gas, the gas tube starts here. And on this gun, the gas tube is here. So you're looking at about six inches longer for the 18 inch barrel. So that should give you uh, better ballistics, better performance, a little bit more range, maybe a little bit more accuracy out of it. So that's the main reason I got it for the 18 inch barrel. So my plan is, I'm gonna take this scope off of here and replace it with this. You can look through there, just like the old AR-15 style, but the uh, sweat I learned to shoot on when I was in the military. Main reason I wanna put this one on this particular gun is because of this right here. Whenever you look through the scope, you can see this. It's there, but it's not there. It's real blurry, but it's still kind of in the way. So I'm gonna just take the scope off and put the handle on there. Take this scope and just put it on this other gun here, because I ain't got no front post sight to worry about anyway. So, so I want to put the scope on here, put a uh, a bipod on here, and a hand grip. That way, it could be like a, a DMR gun. You got the capability of getting a good sight picture with the scope, the steadiness with using a bipod. And if you have to for um, combat, you got the, the hand grip on the front. I think I may put an angled grip on there. So I'm gonna put it all up here. So you fold the bipod up, it'd be about right there. That way you got multiple uses out of it. Cause in a uh, end of the world situation or was it SHTF, you can do multiple things with this gun. You got your long range shooting with a scope hunting or whatever may be out there trying to get to you. So you got the scope and you got the uh, accuracy of, or the uh, ability of semi-automatic. So you can take one shot or multiple shots, depending on what the case may be or what uh, threat in front of you is. So you got that with this gun. So this is gonna be my battle rifle kind of like my AR-15, which is a battle rifle, because I got the handle on it and the iron sights on the front like this. So, like I said, that's what I learned how to use back when I was in the military. That's how we learned how to shoot the M16s and stuff. This is semi-automatic. There's no assault rifle here. It's just a rifle. It's just a tool. Like I said in my other videos, it's just a tool. Just the person operating it is the control of it. So, 
And the scope I got on here, the Tasco 3 to 12 by 40. You can see it right there. I've had this scope for like 30 years. It was on an old Remington 7400 30L6 semi automatic gun I used to have. I missed a bunch of deer with that gun, so I got rid of it. Bought a bolt gun. You know, my Savage 30 out 6, so. But I kept the scope. I put it on here. Took about five or six shots. Not even that many. Had it sighted in. 150 yards. Tack driver. So, this, so it wasn't a scope. Maybe it was me. Maybe it's a gun. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to leave it like it is. Just undo the clamps right there. Or I may get some more rings for it, but. Yeah, those may work. Put it on this gun. It may still be sighted in at 100 yards, 150 yards, whatever the case may be. So next time you see this gun here in the video, I should have it all digged out with scope, you know, bipod, pistol grip on the front, or angle four grip with an M-block system. This should be a lot smoother shooting gun with that, lock, that rifle length gas system as opposed to the carbine. Either way, it's a 308 and uh, you know I didn't go to 6.5 pre more nothing like that I stick with a uh, pretty much NATO rounds like 9 millimeter uh, like 45 ACP 308 556 50 BMG 357 Magnum 44 Magnum you know bullets and ammo you could pretty much get anywhere and other people should have them too so you always got to keep that in mind I don't buy exotic guns with exotic ammo that's all custom made i get stuff that you can go to your local stores or ace hardware and buy so that's how i do my uh the gun buying that's how i do my ammo stick to the basics because nine times out of ten your neighbor is going to have something that you could use if you got those calibers or 22 long rifle got that too so but I'm excited about this build. It's going to be my purpose built rifle. And hopefully, it can do everything I needed to do. And uh, so you got your ammo, you got your gun, me you magazines like everybody else. So, all right, everybody, I may change this out. Put a, a different grip on here. This is the standard 8 2 grip with a little, I don't know what that is, whatever you want to call it. Uh, groove it's already got the one so i may change that out for a, a magpul one but either way i'm pretty excited about this wanted to do one of these like this for a long time came across the gun it was um i think i got a good deal on it but gun prices down there they're pretty high but that's it for now you know we're gonna take this take away and add to it Bam, here. So this right here, I can't use it for hunting. Listen to this. I don't know who decided to make something like that for a gun. And there's no rail on here at all, no nothing. So I'll use that as a basic battle rifle. This right here, I'm thinking about taking off. It's a two chamber muzzle brake, but it's got threads on here. For a suppressor i'm debating if you think i should leave it on this gun and get a suppressor for this gun or take that off here put it on my 18 inch barrel gun what do you think <sighs> tough decision you know i mean it's gonna you know make the gun longer but this gun's only two inch longer anyway because it's 18 inch barrel i don't know what do you think if it's or make the suppressor fit both of them, which is going to be hard to do because that's just a regular A2 muzzle brake there. You can't do a lot with it. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Try to grow this channel. If I can get to a thousand subscribers, maybe get, get monetized, make a little money to pay for some of this stuff. If you buy guns and ammo, you know how expensive everything is. So anything can help. I don't know if I should do a Patreon account or something like that. Or I don't even know how. I'm not a computer expert. I can barely upload videos and edit them. 
So just be with me if I have someone to work with to help me out doing some of this stuff. That'd be great, but uh, I do it all myself. All right, everybody, be safe out there. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next one.